Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday, April 17th, 2024, and we're here back at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Why? Because the Trump trial, just down the street, just, just down uh, Worth Street and over on Center, uh, has the day off. They don't meet on Wednesday. So after two days of uh, early morning rising, etc., um, we're back on the beat at the SCNY, where this morning there'll be Menendez. But first, on the Trump trial, seven of the jurors have been selected. These are seven of the 12. There's also going to be six alternates. So will it get done by Friday in, in time for a Monday opening arguments? We don't know, but we'll be there. Uh, we covered it in great detail. For example, the oncology nurse that's on the, on, the, uh, on the jury and also some people that got excluded. Many people seem to really want to be on that jury uh, and they sort of downplayed even their social media presence. Uh, much of it, again, most, most of it anti-Trump. One guy was, seemed, he said because he was from Texas, he couldn't be fair. There's some hammering here, but that's life. Um, anyway, it's shaping up and uh, we're, gonna, we're all over it. Now the Menendez thing today is, it's interesting. Initially Menendez wanted to delay then he didn't want to delay. Then Nadine, his wife, said that she needs surgery and has to be delayed. Then the government wanted to delay Menendez. Menendez said, no, speedy trial May 6th. And he's pretty much winning out the day. Looks like this is going forward, although this today is about a stipulation. There have been various grounds on which the U.S. is trying to reconnect Bob and Nadine. Why? Because Bob is going to blame Nadine. We wrote about it already a few days ago. Basically, the idea, he doesn't even have to say that she's worse than him. She just has to say they didn't communicate. He doesn't have C-enter. He didn't know the services being offered to both Egypt and Qatar in exchange for their support. Um, so there's that. There's a number of crypto cases. There's many things going on. There's also a Second Circuit argument, a little bit not a criminal case, believe it or not. It's the revived claim that uh, Sheeran took Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Yes, the case is still alive in the Second Circuit. Speaking of the Second Circuit, Inner City Press today has a brief due in its bid to unseal the sentencing letters of Sebastian Greenwood, co-mastermind with Ruja Ignatova of the OneCoin crypto, semi-pseudo-crypto scam. Um, all of the letters were sealed. We challenged it. Uh, the judge didn't unseal them. It's a judge we like, but what can I tell you? And uh, sort of on a, uh, filed a notice of appeal with uh, kind of a, on the last day. And yes, the brief is due today. Very grateful for, for pro bono counsel, and we will see how it goes in the Second Circuit. To be continued, Inner City Press.